Greetings, folks. Today is Friday, March 1st, 2019. I'm Tom Lane Weaver here to tell you the Constitution matters. Well, the Second Amendment is being attacked yet again. According to an article on Politico, the title of the article is House Passes Most Sweeping Gun Control Legislation in Decades. In one of their biggest moments since winning the majority in November, House Democrats pushed through legislation on Wednesday mandating federal criminal background checks on all gun sales, including private transactions. For Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats, it represents a signature moment as they try to fulfill their campaign, campaign pledge to take action on gun violence. And do you know why gun violence, this is not the article, this is me, uh, do you know why this gun violence is so problematic? It's because there aren't enough guns the Second Amendment has been totally, almost to a point where it doesn't exist anymore. The reason some nutcase can go someplace and shoot up a place and kill 17 to 20 people, the only reason that is, is because the people there don't have guns. I mean, hey... Is somebody going to go and shoot up a place knowing that somebody's going to shoot back? We need more guns, not less. We need people to be able to protect themselves. But Nancy Pelosi is too stupid to understand that. I mean, how would she like to be faced down with somebody with a gun and she has no way to protect herself? How would she like that? That's the position that she's putting countless of other people in. Okay, back to the article. The House passed the bill on a 240 to 190 vote. Eight Republicans crossed uh, the aisle to vote for the Democrats, to vote with the Democrats, while two Democrats, Representative uh, Jared Golden of Maine and Colin Peterson of Minnesota voted with Republicans against the legislation. So, not everybody voted for this thing, but the majority did. Now, the good thing about it, according to the article, is uh, that, uh, that it's going to have opposition in the Senate controlled, in the Republican controlled Senate, and of course, President Donald Trump says he'll probably veto it. So, even if it came to his desk, it might not get there because the Senate are probably going to knock it down. Okay, folks, this is what's going on in this country. We are bit by bit losing our constitutionally protected liberty. Why? Because we have a Congress, we have a president, we have even a Supreme Court. They don't care about the Constitution. The Constitution doesn't matter to them. And that is exactly my point about this excursion into the Constitution. They don't care about the Constitution. How many times does the Supreme Court make unconstitutional decisions? Often. Like Roe v. Wade. That is one of the most constitutionally flawed decisions ever. And so, now, you know, we might have, the president might be right on this issue. The Republicans might be right on this issue, this issue. But there are other issues that Republicans don't care about the Constitution, like this border wall, for example. Where do you find anywhere in the Constitution that says the federal government should build a border wall? You don't. They don't have the power to do that. That power belongs to the states. Read the Tenth Amendment, folks. Anyway, so Second Amendment is being attacked again, and it's continuing. It's going to continue to be attacked as long as any Democrat is in power. Don't vote for them. Don't ever vote for another Democrat. In fact, don't for, don't vote for Republicans. I'm, 
I'm at the point in my life where I'm not going to vote for Republicans or Democrats for anything. I don't care if they're just running for dog catcher. I am not going to vote for them. Because, you know, Republicans and Democrats have been in power since 1856. That's how long ago. James Buchanan was a Democrat. Abraham Lincoln was the first Republican. And we've had nothing but Republican and Democrat control ever since. And you see what they have done with this country, don't you? We have spending going out of style. We have laws like this being passed consistently. Republicans and Democrats have been in power far too long. It's time for them to go, folks. I want... I want to see a Congress where the Constitution matters again. I want to see a president where the Constitution matters again. I want to see a Supreme Court where the Constitution matters again. When the Constitution matters, the Second Amendment matters. And so, you know, we, we have other parties out there. There's the Libertarian Party. There's the Constitution Party. The American Independent Party. There's other parties out there. Look into them, folks. You don't need these freedom-stealing pow- uh, parties ever again. Get rid of them. And I, I can, we can get into Republicans and what they have done to violate the Constitution. Look at the Patriot Act. That's a good example. Compare the Patriot Act with, um, with the Fourth Amendment, and you see the difference. I mean, we have, we have a guarantee against unreasonable searches and seizures. Uh, I would consider strict searches to get on an airplane to be an unreasonable searcher, search and seizure if there's a seizure. Anyway, so the Second Amendment, the Constitution is constantly being attacked by Republicans and Democrats. It's time to get them out of power. That's it for today. Thank you for listening.